As an American, I am horrified at Walz's selection. He is a small-minded, mean-spirited man. In one way, he will fit in with the Harris ticket. He ran a basement campaign for re-election in 2022, refusing to show up for debates with Republican Scott Jensen after the first one went badly. So Jensen was left debating an empty chair. This is the new uh, Democratic uh, strategy. Has she had a single press conference, Kamala Harris? Right. She is, she is so inarticulate. She is such a fool that she is afraid of a, uh, of a friendly press conference. Almost asked anything for a spontaneous answer. She, she won't do it. Walsh's character defects are considerable, but let's leave it at this. He was largely responsible for the George Floyd riots that devastated Minneapolis and other cities because he dithered for days rather than calling out the National Guard. By his own admission, he held off out of sympathy for the rioters' cause. We are still living with the consequences. Walls has a terrible record as governor. Under Walls, Minnesota became a high crime state for the first time ever. Right now, in fact, as of as of 2020, the Minnesota crime rate surpassed the U.S. crime rate. I'm looking at a chart of it. We should put this piece up. It's, up. it's already up, folks, at DennisPrager.com. Under Walls, student achievement tumbled even as spending on schools skyrocketed. Of course, because the Democratic Party is owned and operated by teachers' unions, which are among the most destructive institutions in the United States of America. The chart shows how much the spending has risen on, on education. Per capita GDP is under the... Uh, national average for the first time in Minnesota history. Increases in energy costs have far outstripped the national average, which is really something because the national average is awful. And under walls, Minnesota has joined New York, California, and Illinois as a state people of all ages are fleeing. This is quite a chart. This is really something. The number of people making $200,000 or more, in fact, $100,000 is even more, who are leaving the state. But people who make under $25,000, that's an increase. Everybody else is leaving. Walsh's record is every bit as bad as Joe Biden's and Kamala Harris's, possibly worse. He is a far-left ideologue whose character includes not one redeeming quality. As an American, I am horrified at the thought of him being close to the seat of power. For the full episode of The Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.